What's up everybody welcome back to the MW Tech Channel it's yeah it's been a while since I did a video and uh, I am extremely sorry for not uploading any sort of video to the channel I know it's been two months more than two months probably it's like um, yeah I am uh, sorry for not uploading I was going through some uh how do you call it some some things that i was you know it was hard to deal with and so i lost my energy on that and now i'm gathering and i'm healing so i think starting over again is the best thing i could do so why not start with the apple event which is one of the greatest tech seasons of the year so you know, I, I, I took a couple of things to head, so no, I'm th I think I'm doing great. All right, so the iPhone 15 lineup came up, and if you followed the channel for a long time, you know I made a video about the iPhone 15 lineup. I'll put the link here and down also. You can go and check and, you know, comment how close I was. Was I right? Mm -hmm. Was I right? You can go and check and let me know in the comment section. And so... The iPhone 15 came up with four different uh, phones, iPhone 15, 15 Plus, and the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. So this time the iPhone fell into to two categories, which is comes with either features other phones had for a long period of time or new features that only works with Apple. Right off the bat, all the phones, all the lineup gets these two. So one is the dynamic island across the board, iPhone 15 to iPhone 15 Pro Max all are having the dynamic island and also all are going to be usb type c which i will bring it later so this time all the iphones are coming with not so interesting colors so the iphone 15 and the 15 plus comes in five colors black blue green yellow and pink which are really subtle to the eye it's like they use minimum amount of ink to save the mother nature wait is it the reason they use little ink no no, I don't think so. Mother Nature. Mother Nature. Welcome to Apple. And the iPhone 15 Pro and the Pro Max came with a new titanium finish. The natural titanium, titanium blue, titanium white, and titanium black. And it's not only the colors which are titanium. Actually, the part we actually touch from shiny stainless steel to brushed titanium and i saw this tweet on the other day which was a iphone 15 pro with decolorization near the power button and the volume workers because of uh, the use on the apple event and i thought like maybe this is going to be a problem because of the decolorization it's not nice uh it made me think like 90 percent of us is going to use a case on it so let's talk about the dimensions of these phones so the iphone 15 and the 15 pro comes with a 6.1 inch super retina oled display which goes to a peak brightness of 2000 nit and the 15 plus and the 15 pro max are coming with 6.7 inch display the main difference between the iphone 15 and the 15 plus are the bigger battery and the bigger screen not so and also i don't see the point of a plus version phone uh, which is a topic to argue about you know put your comments uh put your thoughts put your comments on the thought put your thoughts in the comment section about the plus phone so in the whole lineup they have smoothened all the edges of the iphone uh, 15 series because uh from the iphone 12 to iphone 14 the edges were rough when you're using the phone without a case just naked then uh, you will feel that you know but it has a tight grip period but you know still it might it it is more comfortable if we have a smoother curves but now uh you get the smoother curves in the iphone 15 lineup so that's good but still everyone most of the people use a cover on their phone so and also the body of the iphone is a one-piece glass which uh, they mentioned in the keynote was easy to replace so the USB type C, we all knew this is going to happen. Even Apple didn't want it since the European Union forced them. Fun fact, this is the second port change in the iPhone history since 2012 from that uh, 30 pin connect, which was a bigger connector. And since 2012, lightning port was the one. And I'm pretty sure the completely wireless era is not far away from a decade. Since we're talking about the USB-C, now the accessory is also going to be USB-C. So the new AirPods are going to come 
actually not new AirPods, the same AirPods Pro versions and all the lineup is going to come. Wait a minute, not all the lineup. The Pro versions are going to come up with the USB-C port. So now you can charge your AirPods from your iPhone, which is, which is I think it's a cool idea and a great idea. The iPhone 15 now has a 48 megapixel camera, which is great because it didn't have a big camera like that. And also you get a 2x zoom feature, which is only available for the Pro versions. And the iPhone 15 and the 15 Plus is powered by the A16 Bionic chip, which was on the iPhone 14 Pro versions. And something I like that is a solid feature is the new generation portrait mode. Now it detects a subject in the photo and gets the dip information needed to able to convert this photo to a portrait one later. And with that, the iOS 17 is coming for all these phones. So let's talk about the iPhone 15 Pros. So this phone powered by the brand new A17 Pro and it's their first 3 nanometer chip which gives improvement in performance as well as efficiency. It's pretty impressive but still how much we notice this in real life. But head for improvement is always nice. So with the new chip it enables to play even PS5 level games. Actually PS5 games that's crazy. Genshin Impact and all the top level games you can play in the iPhone 15 Pro. They do a whole new gaming section for the iPhone 15 Pro, which is which is crazy that, that you know, they made the point which they have the power for that. And but still, yes, they have the power. And also I came across this tweet about the iPhone 15 Pro getting overheated about 48 degrees, which is not a safe zone for operating an iPhone, which uh, it's pretty hard, pretty hard. 48 degrees is not cool and it's not good for the battery. And uh, yeah, so this is the tweet. If you want uh go follow me on Twitter or X, you know, uh, so that's that. So for more updates and all. And something that iPhone 15 and the 15 Plus does not have is a new USB-C controller, which gives USB 3 speeds and up to 10 gigabytes per second. I mean, a lot of people won't notice this because data directory is not going to use it. But for the people who use to transfer raw photos, raw images, they're going to notice this because of the efficiency of this uh, USB-C controller on the chip. But still, no fast charging, even if USB-C or C controllers whatsoever, still no fast charging across the board, which is disappointing. And I am not happy about this because, you know, I mean, a small phone can have a fast charging right now. It's crazy. It's 2023, no fast charging. And also, talking about the displays, no higher refresh rate. Come on, right? We pay the bucks and we don't get a refresh rate. At least 90 hertz. It's not a big deal. But still, the iPhone 15 and the 15 Pros, no higher refresh rate. They all stuck in the 60 hertz. So, and here comes to my favorite feature of the iPhone 15 is the new action button. So they replaced the previous iconic silent switch to a new customizable action button. So it is the same size as the previous uh, switch. So by default, it's pretty much act like a mute switch. You hold it down to switch between silent and ring. And when you go to the settings with a pretty UI, in the default, it's going to be a mute switch and you can get focus modes connected to it and you can have you can have it to auto launch the camera app and turn off the flashlight since you have the flashlight option in the home screen and the camera option on the home screen i don't think most of the people will toggle the shortcut button for those two features but still so you can right off the bat with no lags you can open any app using the action button uh, using the series shortcuts so the iphone 15 pro cameras same design now we get a 48 megapixel main camera and an improved ultra wide camera and only and only in pro max there's a 5x telephoto camera with a 120 millimeter focal length which is a 20 percent larger sensor than the iphone 14 pro max so here are the prices of these phones. iPhone 15 comes at $799 and the iPhone 15 Plus comes at $899. And also the 15 Pro comes at $999 and the 15 Pro Max come at $1199, which is the 258 baseline version. And if you go with the high storage, the price is going to change. So now here is the question actually, what should I buy and why? So 
what I'm thinking if, is if you're looking for a iPhone 15 Pro versions or Pro Max or something like that, and uh, you actually do not need three cameras for the phone, then definitely go for the iPhone 15. Not the Plus, but if you want a bigger screen and a bigger battery, for some reason, go for the Plus, but still, same deal, same package, a bigger battery on that. Uh, it's better just going for the iPhone 15. So my choice is the iPhone 15 Pro, not the Max, the Pro and the iPhone 15. So if you have under budget, you can go for the iPhone 15, not don't go to the Plus, ignore the Plus and go to the iPhone 15 Pro. So those are the two options, iPhone 15 and the 15 Pro. So that's been it guys. I hope this video was helpful for you. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe. Definitely, we are stuck at, at 638 subscribers. We need to get to 1000 subscribers this year somehow. I will post as much as I can. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be hard, but I will try, I'll try my best to do that. And uh, make sure to subscribe, share the video if you like it, hit the like button and uh, yeah, you know what to do.